Okay, this is 3 dash 2. We're going to identify linear functions using a graph table and equations. So number three, determine whether each table, um, graph, or equation represents a linear or nonlinear function. Okay, so for it to be linear, let's make sure we write this down. We want to look for a constant rate of change. That is how we know it is going to be linear. All right. So let's see if this is linear or not, okay? So we're just gonna draw the arrows to see, okay? This is plus two, and this is going to be uh, negative one to two, it's a plus three. This is a plus three, this is a plus three. Uh, four to six, plus two. Six to eight, plus two. So we would say this is linear, all right? Let's take a look here. One to nine is plus eight. Uh, 9 to 25, let's see what that is. Okay, and I got here uh, plus 16 from 49 for 25 to 49, it is plus 24. Ooh, doesn't look off linear already. Plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Okay, do you see how this is plus 8, plus 16, plus 24? This is going to be not linear because the change of y is different, okay? Let's look at c. This is plus two, plus two, from four to six, plus two. Zero to two is plus two. Uh, two to six is plus four. From six to 12 is plus six. Do you see how the y is not constant changing? So this is gonna be not linear, okay? Four to eight is plus four. 8 to 12 is plus 4, 12 to 16 is plus 4. 2 to 0, it is a minus 0, from 0 to negative 2, sorry. <laughs> from 2 to 0, it's a minus 2. From a 0 to negative 2, it's a minus 2. From negative 2 to negative 4, it's a minus 2. So do you see constant rate of change for the x, constant rate of change for the y? So this is going to be linear, okay? So next, we want to look at EFG for those when it is a graph we want to look for when it's linear it is a straight line okay so that is what you are looking for here linear is a straight line all right so let's take a look at E is that a straight line that is not a straight line it curves so this is going to be not linear okay uh, F, is that a straight line? That does look straight. And if you count the slope here, it is constant. So we would say this is linear, okay? Here, is this a straight line? Yes, even though it has a slope of zero, it is still considered to be linear because again, the rate of change is zero, okay? H, is this the same uh, rate of change? Uh, no, because it also curves. All right, so the first one, it is up one, across one. And the next one, it is up three, across one. Okay, that is going to be not linear. All right, so there you go. That is how you determine uh, on a chart or a graph if something is linear or not linear.